Hey, and thanks for joining me on this video. I'm Jason Brown, the inventor of SERP tracking and the co-founder of SERP Woo. And in today's video, I'll show you how to build a backlink on Behance.net. So there's something I wanna go over real quick before we get into this. All of my prior videos, I've tried to focus on websites that were do follow, crawlable, indexable by Google, uh, with public access uh, to the profile page and uh, also website links that uh, had high authority. Um, now, something a little bit different, uh, I'm gonna focus on some websites in coming videos that may be no follow. And I just wanna address that because I know a lot of people, for whatever ridiculous reason, think that um, do follow links are the only links that they're gonna build or links that are only relevant to their topic. And it's like the only thing that they build. I'm not here to say that, you know, no follow is better than do follow or that do follow is better than no follow or only links that are topically relevant to your keyword uh, are the best. Sure, they help. Okay. I'm not going to deny that. You know, if you've got, uh, a, if your entire link profile is unrelated uh, topics or, um, about keywords that are unrelated to your particular niche, uh, you're only gonna get so far. If all of your links are no follow and low quality, you're only going to get so far. I will definitely admit that. But we seem to have a group of people, um, even experienced SEOs that feel like the only links they're gonna build are do follow, the only ones they're gonna build are high authority, the only ones that they are going to build are relevant to whatever topic um, that they're that they're building their, their website on or the or the website's about. And I just want to say that is completely ignorant. Uh, don't mean to offend anybody at all. That this is not about a particular person. But I've kind of held off on the no follow links because uh, this is has been a topic for years. There's been many studies. Uh, I've ran link building services in the past. Uh, I've witnessed this on SERPWU daily, people asking us questions about links. There's no shortage of questions about what type of links to build. And the number one answer that I give everybody is, what is a natural link profile? If you were to just pick a random authority website off the first page of Google for your keyword, more likely what you're going to see is a website that has links built to it that are do follow, no follow, a mix, not all do follow, definitely not all no follow. They're going to be a mix of anchors. There's going to be a mix of topics. There's going to be a mix of uh, authority ranges and metrics and a mix of indexable and a mix of crawlable. Uh, personally, I've actually published uh, a lot of data on SERPWU about what works to rank on the first page. And actually a part of that series that I did was I ranked a brand new website that had all no follow backlinks built to it. Uh, ranked first page of Google. Uh, it took about, uh, I think about nine months. Um, it might be a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, but it was about nine months. I actually got it to the number one keyword that I was focusing on. Um, the other thing that I want to say about this is what Google's looking for is always changing. There is no hard and fast rule that says that the links have to be this. Your keyword ratio for your link anchors have to be this other number. This is a, a sliding window, guys. This is constantly changing uh, all the time. Uh, the quality rating guidelines change. Uh, Google likes to mix things up to keep people who build links and spammers at bay. What works now maybe will not work three years from now. And what does, what quit working three years ago might actually work now. You don't get all the information. Uh, so trying to build one particular type of backlink or focusing on something is definitely a recipe for disaster. Uh, that's why a tool like SERPWU was built. So personally, if you try to send me some hate mail or messages about uh, no follow links don't work um, or 
you know, a certain link is uh, not useful because it's irrelevant um, or that it's not indexable, crawlable. Why would I do that video? Uh, you know, just watch something else, you know, find something else on YouTube. Don't, don't, don't watch this video. Again, th this is about nobody personally, but uh, I kind of waited for this first link that was no follow because uh, I definitely know that there's going to be questions raised. So, somebody's going to ask why I did this video. And overall, what it comes down to is experience. Um, I've personally have been building websites and ranking them before Google was even a search engine. Um, you know, manipulating the Yahoo directory. Of course, when when Google came out, I uh, started uh, ranking websites there and following all of the algorithmic changes. Um, following all the patents and getting websites ranked with various services. Uh, I've definitely have tried to go through and do it all. And the one thing I've learned is you never know everything that you need to know. And sometimes as uh, tactics wear out, they come back in favor years later. And the best that you can do is just try to create the best site you can, get the links that you can have a healthy mix and make it look natural. So this is what this is about. So enough of the ranting, let's get to the topic here. Um, so let me change screens. Now what you're looking at here is uh, behance.net. Uh, once you actually get that in your browser and bring the window up, uh, you're just going to go to the upper right hand corner for sign up. And probably what will work best is, you know, for you to just select, uh, you know, one of your Gmail accounts and continue with Google. Uh, or if you have a non-Gmail account uh, for an email, you know, say it's Yahoo Hotmail or your uh, website domain for your email, you can sign up that way. Once you have signed up, the next screen will actually uh, have you pick a topic. They've got a lot of topics like architecture, photography, graphic arts. You'll want to pick a topic because that's how you get to the next screen. Now, I did not have to verify my email address, uh, so I'm not entirely sure if you're going to have to have a valid email address to keep the link that you drop, but at least getting to this point and signing up, you do not have to validate your email address to actually drop the link. Don't know how long it's going to last if you don't, though. Uh, now, I've already created an account, and I'm going to switch to that screen here. Now, once you um, are signed in, this is not the screen that you're going to get once you select your category. Once you select your category, you, you can actually go into your profile. Uh, this is the home screen, though, of once you're signed in. And when you're there, you can actually go to your Behance profile right here. And you'll want to edit your profile right here on the left-hand side. Now, right here at the top, uh, you've got website URL. This is going to be the place where you're going to want to drop your link. Now, I use Google 5 for all of my link testing. I just simply put in the URL here. Um, I didn't even have to hit save. It just automatically saved it. So the step is real easy. No email verification. You can get right to the URL, enter it. And the profile link is actually going to be your behance.net and whatever your name is. Um, you know, this is publicly accessible. This is a no follow link. And again, I don't uh, want to have, you know, start a controversy about it. If you've been link building for more than a decade, I would love to hear your argument against that. Uh, but if it's been less than a decade, don't even you know, reach out to me. Again, I'm not trying to be rude, but uh, uh, if you don't build a mix of links, uh, your your link building career is going to be short-lived, at least with the properties that you have. So, uh, but if this has helped you, great. If you're an advanced uh, link builder, you know, this is just another uh, link opportunity that, that you can throw into your link chest. Uh, if you're new to link building, that this can be something that you just add into the mix for your website or a client's website. You will want to watch our other videos, old videos that I've already made and future videos where I show you more link building opportunities. Uh, but go ahead and uh, comment, subscribe, 
uh, get notified, do all of that great stuff. So I know that you're watching and that you like these videos. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Really don't care either way on that particular subject. Uh, but just let me know that you're out there watching so that I can keep making more videos for you. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.